Protests are shutting down a bridge and one of Philadelphia's busiest highways while calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. Protesters stopping traffic for hours today and dawn dozens of them were arrested. Yeah, Jason, 32 protesters were arrested on the Schuylkill Expressway by state police. Philadelphia police say the demonstrators on the bridge presenting less of a problem, so their strategy was to cut them some slack as long as they protested peacefully by balancing their First Amendment rights and the safety of the public. Scores of Jewish community members, rabbis, faith leaders, and others closing down Philadelphia's Spring Garden Street Bridge right before rush hour to draw attention to the dire conditions in Gaza as a result of the Israel-Hamas war. Hospitals, mosques, churches, apartment blocks have been bombed and destroyed. This is an unimaginable horror being committed. Boy, oh boy. On this last day of Hanukkah, protesters invoking the spirit of the Festival of Lights to increase international attention to stop the violence now. I'm a father. I would much rather be at home celebrating Hanukkah with my son right now, but I know that there's fathers in Gaza that won't be able to celebrate any holidays. We're here to say the miracle we are calling for is the miracle of a ceasefire, and we're doing so on this bridge and on the highway and in public because we want to bring call public attention to this possibility. Earlier in the day, several dozen protesters descending on 76 West, joining hands and blocking traffic, causing chaos. Philadelphia police sources say state police arrested all of them. During the more than two hour long demonstration, protesters singing songs, eventually marching to the steps of the art museum. Philly Bicycle Police blocking access to the Schuylkill and following alongside the group. The United Nations put out a resolution for ceasefire just this week. 153 countries think this bombing should stop. We're here together putting our bodies on the line for a long-lasting immediate ceasefire. Now, this same group protested at 30th Street Station last month, causing disruption for travelers. They've held similar demonstrations all across the country and are vowing more acts of civil disobedience until there is a ceasefire. Sheba and Jason. Dawn, thank you.